Hello guys, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Tessie. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all, depending on where you are watching from. Hope you all are doing well, and thank you so much for stopping by. So, I met Bola Tinibu, a point special investigator to probe CBN. I made MFLS a uh, trial. You see, all of them, they go hear what? They go collect one after the other. Ever since this issue of uh, MFLA, I've not really said anything, but before before we get into this particular news in full details i want to beg you all to please help me by liking this video also share with others so that youtube and facebook can recommend it to more people the news here read president bola ahmed tinibu has appointed a special investigator to probe the central bank of nigeria cbn and related entities in a letter cited by daily trust the president named jim osayede obaze the chief executive officer Financial Reporting Council of Nigeria as the investigator. The president asked the special investigator to investigate CBN and key government business entities. He also said Obaze would report directly to his office. In accordance with the fundamental objective set forth in Section 15.5 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999 as amended, this administration is today continuing the fight against corruption by appointing you as a special investigator to investigate the CBN and related entities. This appointment shall be with immediate effect and you are to report directly to my office. The full term of your engagement as special investigator shall be communicated to you in due course but require that you immediately take step to ensure the strengthening and probity of key government business entities. Further block leakages in CBN and related GBEs and provide a comprehensive report on public wealth, on public wealth currently in the hands of corrupt individuals and establishment, whether private or public. You are to investigate the CBN and related entities using a suitably experienced, competent, and capable team and work with relevant security and anti-corruption agencies to deliver on this assignment. I shall expect a weekly briefing on the progress being made. The letter read. The president also sent a copy of his directive suspending Godwin MFLA as governor of the CBN on June 9th. 2023. MFLA has been in DSS custody since then. He was arraigned in court last week and granted bail, but the secret police rearrested him. <laughs> all right, my people, and uh, that is it uh, for you all. First of all, let me even talk about uh, MFLA. You see MFLA, you see these people, eh? me, I know the pity for these people. Because whatever it is now that they are going through, they brought it upon themselves. I make video and I say it every time that you should think that because in that position you are today, you are still getting money to feed your stomach. A time will come when even that money that you are stealing or whatever it is that is making you to keep quiet will no longer save you. These people, they have great opportunity to make some changes where they have the power, but they never did. All they cared, all they ever cared for is for their own personal and selfish interests. Why doing that, they made a whole lot of people to suffer in urgent poverty. So how do you want the same poor masses that you frustrated with your useless policies to start sympathizing with you? So whatever it is that MFLA or whoever it may consign is going through or we even go through in the hands of uh, Bola Ahmed Tinibu, they deserve it and they should go through it in peace because we want them ahead of time. They did not listen. Even fortunately for them, according to what we are made to understand by Madame Loretta Onochie, we are, we live in a country 
where corruption is celebrated. So, so far they are rich. So far they are big men. They have a way of buying their uh, way around in this court issue. Even though they tell us that they are in prison or they are arrested, they still have the opportunity to enjoy their ill-gotten money. But this MFLA issue should sound as a strong warning or a lesson to other politicians or any of these public office holders who are perching around politicians frustrating the poor masses with their useless policies because of their own selfish interest forgetting that in everything you do in this life there is time and season it is your time today does not mean you will remain there forever but you see the problem is that our politicians they don't learn these people they don't learn lesson until happen to them directly they will never learn look at what the so-called suspended cbn governor made nigerians to pass through i know so many of you we say he was just taking order what happens to honorably resign when you know that the policy is not good at all and it is going to make the life of nigerians a living hell so many people died because of those their useless policies because so many people have money in the bank but they could not use it so many people suffered because of that they use me i said it i mean i'm not i'm not a pity for them who this one is just mfla that is suffering should be now now is cbno and other related entities that tinibu is asking them to a uh, probe now so from there now they will bring other people only the only problem is that that we only probe the opposition they will not probe those who are loyal to apc or apc members because if you want to talk about it there is nobody there is no people that are corrupt as apc so we want to see them since they want to start fighting corruption we are not against it but what is good for uh, adamu is also good for musa as you're probing the people in the other party also remember to probe apc members because we know them some of them has even been appointed as ministers and that is why someone said that day that the easiest way to escape corruption in nigeria is to become an apc member and all your sins are forgiven very correct statement and it did not just start with this uh bola ahmed tinibu's uh, administration it has been a very it has been the standard of apc once you don't want to be probed for corruption once you have stolen any money that you don't know how to defend the easiest thing to do to escape you from being probed is just join apc if they do good though they do bad though just tell them say yes what you're doing is good and all your sins are forgiven so this one is not what we want to see again as they come or they tell us say they want fight corruption or good and fine but as you they feature the ones in pdp the ones in labor party the ones in uh, nnpp the ones in this and the ones in that please also feature the ones in apc even the ones that ran from other party to apc just to escape judgment bring all of them come outside because we know them we are not fool in this country we are not fools and I just know my people, the only thing I know is that whatever it is that these people are going through today, they all deserved it because they contributed to making this country whatever it is today. And one thing I know for sure is that whatever it is you sow in this life, you must reap. So they should enjoy their time. This is their time and season. They should enjoy it. All of them should partake from the fruit of their labor. It will reach all of them one after the other. Even the one probing, a time will come when he, when he will account for what he himself has done. And that is it for you all, my people. I saw the news and I said, let me come share with, with you all. With all of that being said, I'm going to say thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.